Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going to be going over the legendary Red Eye Rocket Pod. To get this launcher, you will need the Director's Cut DLC, and the bosses you can find to get this are Hemoborus, the Invincible, or the Seer. So it is up to you for which one you want to fight, so if you do want to fight Hemoborus, you can come over here on the minimap, uh, right by Claptrap's Closet, and you can pick this mission up to fight Hemoborus. Keep in mind though that when you fight Hemoborus, for each farm you do, it's going to cost 500 Iridium. If you want to fight the Seer, you can come over here on the minimap, uh, right over Ava's room. And this boss will be free, you don't have to pay Iridium, and you can fight it over and over. Do keep in mind, this is a long mission chain, so it will take a while to get all the way to the end of the Seer. Uh, he is the final boss in this mission chain. As for who to fight, it's up to you, they're about the same difficulty. So pick and choose whoever you want to do. For me, I actually got my drop from Hemoborus, so I will play that clip now. Ooh! Oh! Rocket pod. Ooh, hello. We've already got that. All right, so we have ourselves the Red Eye Rocket Pod. As you can see on it, the damage is pretty good for a Vladoff rocket launcher. And this launcher for the damage can come in times one or times two for the rockets. As for the elements, I have found a Cryo 1 2, so I'm going to go ahead and assume it can come on all the elements. And for the red text, even oppression itself fears Vladoff. At the bottom, on kill, add one to the burst fire count at no ammo cost. Max four. Resets after killing a bad butt? Yeah, that's right, I gotta say bad butt because I don't swear on my channel. Or a boss. Ooh, look at that weapon skin, that's really nice, I like that. It's like a blood splattered metal. And it is mostly a gray and red. Also at the front we have this like exhaust thing that looks really cool. Pretty sick. This thing fires mortars, there is no secondary fire, and like it says on the card, you can shoot it. It's gonna shoot one. And then let's say that got a kill. I can shoot once again, it's gonna double burst and shoot two at the cost of one ammo. That gets a kill. It's going to shoot three at the cost of one ammo and all the way up to four shots. Now, the cool thing about Zane is you can actually double the shots of it using playing dirty, this skill down here, and that's going to double your DPS with this gun. On top of that, if you're just holding the launcher and get a kill with any source, let's say a uh, shield Nova or something, it will actually add that rocket to your uh, burst fire. So you can see here, we're going to go ahead and proceed forward. We are on max difficulty too. Shoot this guy and did not one shot him. And keep in mind, we do have a splash anoint on this too. Yeah, you can see this weapon is, eh, it's not really the best. It's fun, but not the best. So now we have all four kills, so let's go ahead and shoot. And now it's going to be a four round burst at the cost of one ammo per shot. Okay, these guys over here. It can kill like simple mobs like that, but when you get like a heavy, it just does not perform well. Ah, uh, he is bound to show up. So this guy right here, if you kill him off. Yeah, it reset our shots. No more quad shot, back to one shot. But it is pretty easy to build back up the quad shot too. It doesn't take that long. For mobbing, it does barely get by. So let's go ahead and show off a boss. All right, so we made it over to Tron. Let's go ahead and uh, do some quad shot with the splash anoint. And yeah, not great for bossing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, final thoughts on the Red Eye Rocket Pod. When it's fully charged for the quad burst, it can barely get by for mobbing. As for bossing, no. Just, just no. Sure, this thing could be okay for non-mayhem levels, but do keep in mind that this is an endgame weapon. You get it from Hemavorous, you know, that's a raid boss, or the Seer, which is a pretty tough boss by itself too. Overall, I don't think this launcher is all that great, and it definitely needs a buff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.